Welcome to Just Have a Drink. This is the Five Finger Death Punch. This is an extreme version of a Long Island iced tea that is longer, smoother, harder, and stronger. And I made it using two of my favorite things, overproof spirits and milk. Taking a popular cocktail that has the reputation of being strong and easy to drink has got to be one of the dumbest ideas or quite possibly one of the greatest creations in cocktail history to ever be. So one day I had a great idea where many of my great ideas originate from and I was thinking of the band Five Finger Death Punch and how awesome of a name that'd be for an epic cocktail. But how do I turn the name of a band into a cocktail? Five ingredients? No. Five different liquors. But let's kick it up a notch and use higher proof spirits. This is where the death part comes in at. And because higher proof liquors generally have more flavors and stand out better when mixed, it just might solve the dumbest part of a Long Island. The punch part could be an English milk punch, also known as milk clarification. The milk punch will make the cocktail clear and give it a silk texture, and most importantly, make harsh elements like that extra ethanol easier to drink. Also, I'll get rid of the Coke and carbonate the entire drink. The one thing I learned from working in dive bars, there is such a thing as too much Coke. I have to be honest, I hate Long Islands. One, you mix so many spirits together, you can't taste them, making the drink overly complicated to make for no reason. I've made these with only vodka and nobody was able to tell the difference. And two, the majority of Long Islands are ordered by young misinformed youths trying to get messed up. For all you college students trying to get wrecked on spring break, you're doing it wrong. Take, but we're going streaky, yeah. Bar Math 101. Mixing five liquors together, usually a poor cheap quality in 40% alcohol or 80 proof doesn't make a drink strong. The amount of alcohol or ABV does. So old fashions, Manhattans, hell, even a gin and tonic, depending on the proof of gin and the amount of tonic will be stronger than a Long Island. But I get it. I've been there. When I was young, I was in the club pounding down Long Islands, making bad decisions like dating redheads also. This is how I made the five finger death punch. I juiced and strained four lemons to get half a cup or four ounces of lemon juice and added it to the container. Then I added three ounces of simple syrup to the container for a little bit of balance and sweetness and added one ounce of cola syrup to add a little bit of that Coke flavor. For the spirits, I added one ounce of Combeer orange liqueur at 40% ABV, one ounce of Tapatio 110 tequila at 55% ABV, one ounce of Zotico bold rum at 50% ABV, one ounce of No Let's Dry Gin at 47% ABV, and one ounce of Taka 100 at 50% ABV. Then I stirred all the ingredients to make sure that they were mixed well. Next, I put half a cup or four ounces of cold milk into a large container to begin the milk clarification process. I gradually pour the mixture into the milk to slowly change the pH of the milk. The milk starts to curdle and is gross looking, and even though it looks like a scene from a Brazzers film, this is exactly what I want. I let it sit for about 30 minutes in the fridge and then I begin the next step. I take a funnel, a coffee filter, and a large beer mug I repurposed from a previous job and pour the cocktail over the filter to drip into the mug. The milk that curdles, or more scientifically, the proteins that bind together once the acidity caused the pH of the milk to drop will act as an additional filter. The first few drops will come out cloudy, so I put that back into the mixture and start again. The clear liquid will pass through the curdle proteins and the coffee filter will catch the jizz looking bits, producing this beautiful clear liquid. But this is going to take a long time, like half the day. So I spent the rest of the day catching up on TV, playing games and brainstorming other great ideas. One of these great ideas was a garnish for this cocktail. The idea is a jello shot that looks like a slice of lemon, the traditional garnish of Long Island. The best way to make this is with flavorless gelatin, but I didn't have any and I wasn't going back to the most tedious place, the grocery store. So I used agar agar instead. I cut a lemon in half hot dog style and then carved out the meat parts and juiced and strained for one ounce of lemon juice. Then I took one ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of water, half an ounce of orange liqueur, half an ounce of vodka and put it into a pot and brought it to a medium heat. Then I added 1.65 grams of agar, brought it to a boil and when I got it to a boil, I removed it quickly and then mixed in lemon juice. I poured the liquid into the lemon chills and then put them in the fridge for a couple hours. At the end of the day, the cocktail is done filtering and what was once murky and gross looking has become clear and beautiful. The only thing left is to carbonate the drink, so I poured the liquid into my soda container and pumped it with the CO2 capsule and let it sit for about 10 minutes for the end results. 
Personally, I love how clear this looks with only the slightest bit of color, almost like tainted glass. But how does it taste? Surprisingly, this came out way better than I thought it would. It's citrusy, a little bit of floral, and I can taste a bit of cola in the background, but nothing extreme. There's a lot of flavor that evenly develops and nothing jumps out and smacks you in the face. I know there's a lot of alcohol in this because I put it in there, but it's really undetectable. The texture is weird, but in a good way, it's silky and bubbly at the same time. The jello shot also came out great, but gelatin probably would have given a more desirable texture. Still tasty though. Comparing the Five Finger Death Punch to Long Island isn't even fair. Tasting them side by side makes the Long Island taste like dog crap. The Long Island has an unpleasant, sharp flavor, tastes jumbled, and I can definitely taste the alcohol. It tastes like a dive bar in a glass. The Five Finger Death Punch, on the other hand, goes down like water. The flavor is pleasant and easy to drink, which is where the problem comes in at. It's delicious, it's easy to drink, and the taste of ethanol isn't even there. It has more alcohol than most cocktails. So down in two of these will be real easy, and it might just be all you need. The Five Finger Death Punch was a little complicated, but so worth it. I'll be making more of these in the future. So have fun, try something new, and just have a drink.